Hey YouTubers, Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Thank you for watching. Today we are talking toilet seats. Yes, that's what we're talking about today and we are going to run you through the step-by-step -step process on how to properly and carefully remove your toilet seat. Let's get started. In the bathroom now, again, this is an elongated toilet seat and step number one, recommend cleaning it prior to actually removing it. However, these plastic caps here, be very careful. It looks like the previous person whoever installed this broke this tab. As you can see, it's not sticking out on the left side. And just carefully remove these tabs. Again, that one's broken, and we can just carefully shift this cap up. As you can see, it's a flap, and inside here is a T-bit. And we wanna grab our T25, insert it onto the ratchet, and we are going to loosen up that T-screw. I'll start with the right side, and as you loosen this T-screw up, it will get to a point where the ratchet isn't really working unless you put your hands underneath here and grab a hold of the additional connection point and add a little bit of tension to it and continue backing these T-screws out. Making progress, the screw is coming out very nicely. We'll set that aside. Now to the left side, we'll go ahead and remove the additional T-bolt. Second bolt is removed, we'll set that aside. Both left and right T-bolts are removed. The next step is to reinsert these caps. As you can see, again, this one's broken. And these little washers inside, if you're not careful, they fall out and you do not want to lose them. So again, secure the caps back in place. And from here, again, this toilet seat is completely free of the toilet. And what we want to do is take this old toilet seat out and insert a new one. At this point, as you can see, the toilet seat has been completely removed, and from here we are going to insert and secure a brand new potty seat for children. And it's very possible that the new toilet seat will come with new hardware, and you will need that new hardware for that specific seat. However, just in case, we want to keep these T-screws readily available as well as the socket and ratchet, just in case. If we don't end up using these, what I recommend is grabbing a piece of tape and taping these bolts to the old seat. And in the event that you need to insert and secure the old seat at some point down the road, you've got the hardware. That's it, YouTubers. See a pretty quick, friendly DIY, do-it-yourself type project. And at the end of this video, in the event that you are curious or you want to install a child or toddler potty seat, for training, we are going to run you through the step-by-step -step process on how to do that. So again, at the end of this video, there will be a video link to click. That's it. Do us a favor, below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Every video that we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us, and that will be awesome. Hey, we'll see you at the next video. Thanks again for watching.